Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about material stackings, my favorite feature of new release Cinema 4D uh, 2023. And um, there's been some people that um, the stacking didn't work and that's frustrating because you're like, oh, it's, uh, it's buggy. But it's not... Uh, if you've been like me and you imported your settings from S26 and you kind of try to already uh, make... Uh, 2023 release look familiar to you and you start messing with it and I imported my own render setting presets uh, which I basically rendered the stacking feature disabled. So you need to really create new Redshift presets. Now to recreate this issue I basically uh, took a project file from S26 and when you apply standard material decal that we just we just saw, uh, I can show you. I can apply any texture, and it will automatically. It will only see the latest, and it's to do with the render setting. So in this project file, I still have my old render presets. So if I go and new, and switch to this one. And now it reacts to material stacking. So this is one thing to keep in mind and I just wanted to show you how this looks. So and we're gonna bring in the cube and I'm just gonna make it smaller and I'm just gonna rotate it slightly just so we see something actually. And now I'm gonna create new material, new standard and I'm going to go to shader graph and bring in texture and I'm bringing color. Whenever we want to apply decal or apply the texture, uh, the transparent PNG will work nicely and we can go to color splitter and just bring the alpha to the geometry and opacity color. And this will create transparent sticker for us, which we can then stack on top of. So if I have a plastic cube, um, so I have a plastic material in that cube, and now I'm just gonna go into that material, just gonna make it uh, nice and bright. And apply this sticker to it. You can see in, it's in the UVV mapping, uh, UVW mapping mode. So we're gonna go to flat. And now we have just this one stack and I'm just gonna go to texture mode. And I can control the projection from here. And I can really move it around. And if I turn off the tiling, uh, then I'm going to see where the texture is being projected to. So I can really, you know, play with the positioning and scale easy. Make it small, put it here in the corner. And, and because the flat projection is usually... Uh, uh, straight away stack to the geometry um, it's being projected onto the geometry in the way it's rotated in and now if I highlight the cube and go to the object mode and rotate you know the sticker is stacked to it nicely so this is very simple way of how to stack textures and now you can create these decals really easy you just copy that over uh, just jump in and get some new texture so you get just some kind of a, another one um, change the color and apply it just on top of that. And now you change the mode again to flat and turn off the tiling, uh, make it uh, go to texture mode, scale it down. And we have two next to each other. So it's really easy for me to just position this one here, or um, I can just rotate it completely and just project it from this side. Uh, like that so now I have two I have two two stickers let's say or two textures on top of my plastic cube so material sticking it does work just keep in mind uh, that 
I saw it in the video of Dimitris Kassaforos where he mentioned that if it doesn't work for you, then the fix you need to do, you, you probably like me, you went ahead and just kind of import all your settings and created your own Redshift uh, kind of presets, but uh, you should use the new one. So I had to create these new Redshift presets because before I've imported my one from S26 and that was old Redshift setting um, which doesn't support stacking. So I, you basically go ahead and just create new and in this Redshift render settings it should work you because uh, what I've saw before uh, it only it only could read the the last applied texture and the whole cube was transparent and I only could see one of my decals so if it doesn't work for you just go to settings and you should be able to create new render settings uh, for uh, Cinema 4D 2023 and that will fix the issue for you Okay, so I'm definitely going to try this more. I just wanted to put this out just so more people know about the, the issue with stacking. So um, I'm really excited about this feature and can't wait to see what we come up with.